came all the way from India? Forget about where it's from. Let's focus on where it's going. You're not tender-headed, are you? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Clients swear this stuff is magic. Wow. How's it feel? People look at you and they see somebody else and somehow you become more of yourself. Hola, Laverne. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very excited. It's such an honor to meet you. And you. I have to say that I love this movie. It might be my favorite horror movie so far this year. And ah! I'm, I'm not lying because I checked the movies that I've seen before doing the interview. I love that. Thank you. We really appreciate that. And I have to say that I'm shocked at so many of the aspects of the movie because it opens the doors to things that most of us don't know. Uh, why do you think it's important for people just not to watch a good horror movie, but to learn about beauty standards and on the Black community, especially on women? I think the pressures that we experience as, as Black women Um, to fit in, to conform, particularly in the 80s, I think um, it's horrific. I think making this a horror genre, the sort of horror of white supremacy, the horror of these, I think this film deals with the sort of the intersection of white supremacy and capitalism and how the need and desire to want to move up in the world to succeed in a capitalist society, in a white supremacist society, in a society that wasn't sort of made for you um, is what our protagonist Anna experiences in this film and it reflects realities of so many black women throughout history and I think the psychic trauma of that the horror of that this film is an opportunity to kind of explore that to laugh about it to be horrified by it But then I also think about it as a potential exorcism where we can begin to exercise these demons uh, and get them out so that we can come to these new spaces where um, hair is something that's fun. And yes, it, it, yes, it's, it'll probably always be political, but it should also be something that's just fun and something that we can play with and shouldn't be sort of loaded. It, our, our, our abilities to succeed and uh, uh, move forward in the world shouldn't be dependent on, on what's in our heads. I can't fault you for doing whatever it takes to get where they keep trying to keep us from getting. In a perfect world, a woman would be able to wear her hair the way she wants to. And can I ask you, you have broken so many barriers as a black trans woman. How, how was it at the beginning of your career though? Did these beauty standards affect your career at the beginning? Gosh, you know, I definitely felt, gosh, I think about my first movie. I did my first movie in 1996. I was a senior at Marymount wow. Manhattan College and I didn't feel like there was ever really a anyone like me <laughs> that existed in mainstream, someone who looked like me. And I definitely feel like I, there was a part of me that felt I needed to shape shift and I needed to conform and I needed to kind of create a persona that could be digestible by um, mainstream America. And so there's definitely been, uh, I, say, I would say a transformation over the years. It's not just been about gender, but it's also been about um, becoming someone that people could see and, and, and recognize in a way. So yeah, and, I, and I, when I think about that, there's something sad about it, you know, but there's also something that's like, At the end of the day, all of this, you know, the hair, the makeup, the aesthetics are all just things that we put on. I think our, our spirits and the talent and, and what we have to say are ultimately who we are. And um, it's troubling as uh, white supremacist beauty standards, cis normative beauty standards can be if there is, if it ultimately has to be about what you have to say. It ultimately has to be about who you are as a human being. And um, I've often said I've never been interested in being erased uh, or being invisibilized. And like a lot of my choices have been about being seen, but it's not just about being seen on the outside. It's really about, about people seeing my soul and my heart, and my soul and my spirit and creating a, a palette that allows people to see who I am as a, as a human being, if that makes sense. That makes sense, and thank you so much. And please keep fighting the good fight for everybody. And I love the movie, and I can't wait to share it with everybody. Muchas gracias.
Muchas gracias, Lover. Adiós. Bye bye. I cannot die today, okay? I've been in church for like 15 years. Uh, hey, girl.